Get off of your chair, awesome this year, I promise it's here, so watch, rate, comment, and share, and click to sub, listen up, I'm telling you all of this because it's just begun, hit me with some videos from Siggy Guns. Siggy Guns. Siggy Guns. Siggy Guns. Yo, 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 Siggy here, back from vacation, it is Wednesday today, I wanted to post this video yesterday, but I didn't have time to make it. Uh, I just came back from Vegas, had a lot of fun, um, I have a lot of clips that I wanted to share with y'all from Vegas, I had a lot of stuff, went to Fremont, Old Strip, went to, I played golf, I hadn't, I hadn't golfed in Vegas at all the years I've been there, I go every year, it's my brother's birthday, it's the middle of July, uh, this first time I went golfing, me and my buddy, and man, I had a blast there too, the, the courses though are rough, I'm talking about there's rocks everywhere it's not like it's dirt it's, it's just rocks in the grass you know there's the fairway so if you're in the rough you're screwed they had to assign me because i rented the clubs they had to assign me a special club which is just a six iron but it was their rock club that they spray paint red saying hey if you need to hit off the rocks use this so it was a tough course i shot a 104 i was playing off the blues so which actually the way i was playing lately 104 was actually pretty damn good but i had a, a lot of fun golfing uh, the hotels I stayed at the Luxor. The, you know, it was our I think 11th year since we, you know, that we've been there. So we, when we first stayed in Vegas a long time ago, that was the first hotel we stayed at. So we decided to go for it again, and it was a lot of fun. I mean, Luxor is a pretty good hotel. It's old though now. You know, it's not like it's the new ones that are like the Aria and the Cosmo. You know, that's that's probably where we're gonna stay next year. We always try to pick a different hotel every year. Gambling wise, the good thing about this time, you know, normally when we get there, it's right around All Star break. Luckily, we had a few days of baseball, so I got to play a lot of bets on the baseball games. Hit a couple of good ones, did some first five innings, because I noticed in the first day after I was, you know, we we're betting, we always lost one game, it seemed. You know, we picked five, we did five team parlays. That fourth or fifth team would always lose. They were, they were win. Hell, the one time there was a White Sox were up four zip on the Red Sox and they wound up blowing it or in an eighth or ninth inning. I forget what it was. It was something ridiculous. So they have first five inning bets. So then I started playing that instead. It's like, man, you know what? I'm just going to go by the starting pitching and I'll, you know, fuck the bullpen. And sure enough, I won. I hit one. That was pretty good on that. And. You know, the baseball bets, you know, they, they started doing a little bit better. Horse racing, I actually sucked at it this time around. I did good on craps, you know, especially my brother's birthday. That was actually when we did pretty good. But now, if y'all know me, I don't usually talk about how much I win and stuff like that. I, I did pretty good, and, and then I lost, you know, a lot. So I'll just leave it at that because I don't like talking about it because I don't know what's going to happen with, you know, in regards to taxes and shit like that at the end of the year. But what I did was I posted a picture of a Corvette. Now, as a joke, I put, oh, how mad are you that I won this? Now, a lot of people right away knew I was playing. But I wanted to get, you know, the main guys, you know, team go fuck yourself. I wanted to get Chiz, I wanted to get Dream, I wanted to get Kev, I wanted to get all of them. Now, not many people bid. Jeff didn't buy it, and the, the, the mates didn't buy it, it seemed, and, and all this stuff. You know, Santi did a little bit, but I, I text Chiz just to make it, try to validate it. <laughs> Dream right away was calling bullshit, and I tried to DM him a whole bunch of crap to try to get him to just calm down, because I wanted everybody to fall for it. I wanted to see how long it lasts, and... Man, Chiz is going relentless <laughs> about this bet. It's good. Him and Pickles, it's gotten to the point to where they, they don't even have to, they can't even watch something normal without seeing a vet and start talking about me. <laughs> man, look, man, if I want a fucking vet, I'm not going to fucking post pictures, dude. I'll be fucking putting videos of that shit. I'll be, it'll be on Instagram. It'll be on fucking Vine. I'll put it on everything. It'll be on Facebook. Because I mean that shit you don't you don't see that shit every day. Nobody fucking wins that kind of bullshit. I'm not fucking Papa Giorgio. <laughs> I even said that shit. <laughs> but no, I didn't win no fucking bet. I won some good money, and that's all I'll say. But I didn't win no fucking bet. But, <laughs> but <laughs> it's got to the point where Chiz and Pickles can't even watch the fucking All Star game without a fucking vet showing up and start tweeting me about a fucking vet. <laughs> Ah, oh, man, this shit was fucking hilarious. I could go, I, I mean, I, I wish I didn't post this video now because I, I can fucking watch it. Every time I fucking get a, t a tweet, I mean, I bet you it's about the fucking vet. Sure enough, it's about a vet. But anyways, that, that I had a lot of fun in Vegas. If you fucking win a lot of shit, especially if, you, if you're friends with Chiz and all that, make sure that if you win a vet, you pick the vet. 